Hey everyone, in this video, I wanted to show you Slack. So Slack is a messaging tool really intended for using in your internal team. So if you have a team of more than two people, Slack is a great way to eliminate text messaging emails with your internal team. For external, you're still gonna use emails and things like that. But this way you could go and search through your messages. So you could check out the website. I have a link in the description and read a little bit more about it. But it's basically letting collaboration between people a lot faster. So this is gonna really save up some time in sending emails back and forth. And my favorite part about it is the searchable history. Because of searchable history, you could go back and search for things that you had talked about. It's a little bit difficult to do that in email and especially difficult to do that in text messages or even Facebook chat, Instagram, DM, things like that. This way, it's a lot easier when you talk to your teams. You could just always go back. So again, click the link, check out Slack, and we'll go through the sign-up process. I like to sign up on the desktop and then I'll show you the mobile app. And that's the place where you're gonna use it more often than not. And real quick, I make really easy to follow videos every single day of the week. And I have well over 300 videos on this channel on things like Slack, Evernote, Instagram, iOS apps and devices. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing. Let me just show you a couple of different options they had available. If I click on pricing on their website, they have a free option. That's what I'm gonna show you today. And that's up to 10,000 messages that it's gonna store. So after that, it's gonna start deleting it. So if you upgrade to the second tier, you're gonna get some unlimited options and you're gonna have multi channels and things like that. You could just look through these options, but we're just gonna get started with the free one. So I'm gonna press create a workspace here and it's gonna ask for my email. I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my email that I wanna use for Slack. Now it's gonna send me a confirmation code. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. It's gonna ask for my name. I'm gonna type in my name here. Next, you need to create a URL. So make sure you create one that's available, letters, numbers, and dashes only. I'm gonna create this one here. I'm gonna agree. And now it's asking me to send invitations. So this is the web app, basically. This is the one on the website. So I'm gonna set it up here, then I'll show you the mobile app at the end of this video. So let me go ahead and invite a couple of different people from my team to join here and then I'm gonna press send invitation or you could skip this process right now. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. I just press send invitation to send that invitation and now I'm right inside of Slack. So to get started with Slack, first you wanna start by creating a channel. So let's go ahead and start there. So to create a channel on the side here, it says create new channel. All you have to do is press that plus sign and create a channel. Now channels are basically topic of discussion. So you could have a simple thing like a general channel, or if you're gonna talk about the app, or talk about vacations, anything you wanna talk about, brainstorming. So I'm gonna call this one apps, and I'm gonna create that channel here. So if you see on the side, general and random already have channels. So if I click these channels, those discussions are already here, and apps already have a discussion because I just created it. So underneath there, this is how you would type out a message. This is my first Slack chat. So you could type that in and it's gonna create that message and you could go back and forth with your team. So after people join the team under direct messages, you'll start seeing multiple people or you could invite people right here. If I press invite people, it's gonna let me invite people through this part to this specific channel here. So the bulk of your messages are gonna happen in these channels. So make sure you create as many channels as you need to organize things a little better. And once you do that, you could always direct message people individually. So if you wanted to direct message someone right here, you could just select their name instead of talking to them within the channel. That will be a one-on-one -on -one conversation here. Next, under apps, if you click apps, it's gonna show you all the different apps that could integrate with Slack. So you got Dropbox, you got Trello, you got some of the other tools that are very handy like Asana, you could go ahead and install these and then have these work together with Slack. At some point, I'll make another video of connecting some of these. I do wanna connect Asana and I do wanna connect Dropbox to this. I'm gonna go back here. So that's basically the side here. And one last thing I wanted to show you up here, if you click this dropdown and if you go over here to preferences, it's gonna ask you to turn notification on or off. So depending on how much you want notification, you could have do not disturb time. Basically, if you turn this on, you're gonna start getting notification here. And I'm gonna say, okay, all messages, direct messages or mentions, 
or nothing. So it depends on your preference. If you don't want anything to bother you on the desktop, you could just put nothing here. Or if you just want when people mention you, you could do that. Or if you want just direct messages, you could do that through here. Let me just go back to this page one more time. And the most useful thing about this is the search option. So under here, if you click the search option, you could search for any conversation and it's gonna go through any chat that you've had. Obviously, I just created this account right now, but if there was a lot of information, even up to the 10,000 free messages that it saves between your teammates, you could go ahead and search for those here. So now that we looked at the web app, let's look at a couple of different versions of Slack on different devices. So if you click this dropdown, you say open the Slack app. If I click that, it's gonna take me to the page where I could actually download this. So I'm on a Mac here, so it's giving me the download for a Mac so I could have a desktop version if I wanted to, or I could continue to use the web-based version. I won't show you the desktop version here since it's different from Mac and PC, but I wanted to show you the mobile version. I'll do it on the iOS here. So we need to download Slack. So on iOS or your Android device, go ahead and go and download Slack. I'm just gonna go through the App Store here to download it and it's just called Slack, so I'm gonna go ahead and search for it. And this is what the app looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and download it, then I'll show you the setup process. So the first time you open Slack, if you set it up on the desktop, you could just go ahead and sign in, or if you didn't wanna set it up on the desktop, here is how you get started with the mobile app. So just press get started and go through that process. I like to really use it mostly on the desktop because that's where I do the bulk of my work, but on the go, this is great to have. So I'm gonna just press sign in. I'm gonna do the magic link option here. So I'm just gonna go through my email, type that in, and then I'll go ahead and check my email, and I could just confirm right here. It's gonna ask me to open the Slack app now that the process has been done, and I could turn on notification here. I'm gonna say allow, and I'm all set. I'm gonna press get started here, and now I could show you how the mobile device works. So on the mobile device, this is one thing I didn't show you on the desktop. So if I slide left here, and if I slide left a couple more times, I get to workplaces. That's the very last page on the left. So it's the one I created here shows up, but I could also add new workplaces. So if I wanted to have multiple companies set up here, I could just press the plus sign. I could choose the email associated with it or confirm another email. Most likely I would do another one or I could do the different workplace under the same email and then create a new workplace. And the process is the same way. I would set up a new workplace and create a URL for it. Let me just go back here. So that's the very first page is workplaces. In this case, I'm gonna work on the one I already created. So I'm gonna click that. And then here you have channels and you have direct messages. So under channels, let me create a new channel exactly the same way that you would on the desktop or the web app. I'm gonna press plus here. And let's make another channel. This one I'm gonna call marketing. Let's go ahead and create that channel. I'm gonna name it marketing here. And you could do briefly describe the purpose of this channel if you wanted to. Should it be public? Anyone can join? No, I want this to be private, invite only. I'm gonna press create. And now that channel has been created. So now if I press the three lines on top, I could go ahead and get some of this setting options and I could invite people. So if I press invite people, I could type in an email address and send an invite link to this channel I created. And if I wanted to see more about it, I could press the text marketing, there's a drop down, and it's gonna tell me about notification, members, apps, all the different things that are associated with here. And I could edit this anytime I want to. So this is how you edit a channel. So now let me go left again. So now I have the different channels. So the app channel that I created, Again, every time you slide left, you're gonna come back to this channel. And if you wanna direct messages, let me just direct message the Slack bot, for example. And then I could send a message and it's gonna reply back. So this would be the same kind of conversation that you would have with someone else on your team once you invite them. It's that simple. Underneath, you could do the add mention sign to go ahead and mention someone. You could go ahead and attach files if you wanted to, if you added a file to your Slack, or you could access your image library here if you give it access here. So that's pretty much how you use the mobile app. I think it's a lot easier to use than the desktop app. I think functionally it's better to use than the desktop app, but sometimes when you're at work, it's a little bit more difficult. But basically it's just three pages. All the way to the left is your different workspaces. Next to it is channels and direct messages. And if you slide one more time, you'll see the different direct messages that you're having. And if you bring this page in, 
that's going to give you your whole direct messages window here. I hope you found this useful. If you want something specific about Slack and you want me to make a different video about that, please leave that in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel as I post easy to follow tech videos every single day of the week. And I really hope to see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.